Would you like your UI mood board to look like this? And turn your ideas into a product like this? Hey, what's up? Welcome to Nom Design. And today we're talking about my design process, especially on the mood board. Some of you might be wondering, what is a mood board? Well, it's a type of visual presentation of images, typography, color palette, and any other visual types of inspiration. It's usually to help you communicate the idea and inspiration behind your future design. You can present mood boards to your clients, stakeholders, or product design teams. But I usually only present a mood board if I have at least a wireframe or a mock-up to show too. To start creating a mood board, you need to answer a couple of questions, such as what app or web you want to create, what device you want to use, etc. So you do not get stuck while creating your mood board. There are plenty of resources out there to get started creating a mood board. But today, I'm going to use our top choice tool to create this mood board, which is Miro. Miro is the perfect mood board creator because it allows you to add as many files as you need in one infinite canvas. This Miro's infinite canvas allows you to create digital boards as large as you need and include a lot of details. Zooming in and out will help you to see the big picture or go into important details. These are useful Miro tools, which can help you with your mood board. From this tools panel, you can upload your file from a computer or add them from the URL. Icon Finder, you can search among thousands of beautiful icons and use them to enrich your boards. Let's just say you need a cart icon. You can just search here to find what icon cart that fit on your design. And if you want to use the icon, you can just easily drag them to your board. You can also customize your icon depending on what you need. You can customize them manually or use the Moreau settings. Shapes help to create a color scheme or mark up something if necessary. You can go to this tools panel to open the shape and then choose what kind of shape you need to use on your board. You can also use the shortcut to open the shape tools by pressing S on your keyboard. If you want to change the shape that is already on your board, you can just click your shape to open the setting and then go to this button to change your shape. And now, you can start fill your shape with color. Accessing template, pre-made template ready to use, depending on what you need. To access this pre-made template by Moreau, you can go to this tools panel and find template tools. There are a lot of templates that you can access and use on your board. It always depends on what you need. You can also preview the template first before you use it on your board. All right, so now let's start creating an excellent UI mood board. And today I'll be making a mood board for an e-commerce app. To start, you need to add a new board here. You can select the ready-made mood board template and edit where you see fit, or you can create your mood board from scratch. But for today, I will use our own template to explain what board you need to include when creating a mood board. First, you need to create a board for design style. This is where you collect some inspiration from Pinterest, Dribbble, or Behance. For this board, I like to put some adjectives or a little description of what the mood is for the app, so I can look for inspiration appropriately. It's so easy to get caught up in what style you should go for, but I find it easiest to pick if I have more than 8 styles, so I can find the differences. 
Next, create a board for grid style. This is also important to include on the mood board. Because when you are ready to create a visual design for the app, you are not confused again about what screen you want to use. On this mood board, we choose to use an iPhone X for the screen. For the grid setting, we use four columns with stretch type and a gutter width of 16 pixels, and for the margin, we use 24 pixels. Next, create a board for UI style guide. On this board, you need to include typography, icon, and a color palette. For typography, we always like to pair them. That's why we use two types of font here. Typography is a little bit tricky because it could change depending on the design. To help you start with typography, you can use Google Fonts because it's a great free resource for type pairing. If you got some money, go check out fonts.com to break your bank account. For icon, this is where you collect an icon you need to use on your app. To make it more simple, this is why we love using Moreau when creating a mood board. You can just go to this toolbar and find the icon finder to explore a lot of beautiful icons. Let's say you need a home icon, you can just type it here and all icons will be out immediately, and then drag and drop this home icon into your board. For color palettes, I did an Instagram post about color palettes last week on our Instagram, make sure to check the post and use those color palettes for your next project. For the color palette, basically, we use a primary, secondary, and little accent colors. This palette was created based on our primary color. To help you get started with color palettes, you can use coolers.co and color.adobe.com. Both of these sites will help you create a color palette based on your primary color. Next, imagery and graphics. For imagery and graphics, I like to look at free resources like Unsplash. This imagery board created is for images I need to include in my design. Basically for product cards, detailed products, etc. Because we use Moreau as our tool, you don't have to open your Chrome and visit Unsplash, you just need to go to this toolbar and search the Unsplash app. And then you can start to find the image you need to use. To use this image on your design tools when creating the visual app, you can just download this image by clicking the picture and finding the download button. And the last board you need to create interface patterns. This is a juicy part when you create a mood board because it's direct integration for components and elements in the user interface. This also includes UX patterns that you think work well. For this board, I like to think first about common interface patterns for the product. So for this e-commerce app, I'm thinking of a product card, detail product, and button. In this step, you need to look for real examples. So a couple of resources for that are mubbin.com and patterns.com. On both of these sites, you can find patterns you're looking for based on a category. Why do I suggest you look for a real example? Because real examples are the winner. I know developers can create them. I'd like to know where you go to look for inspiration. Let me know in the comments below. I've gone over all the steps it takes to make a fantastic mood board in Moreau. And now it's your turn to create a mood board on your design process for your next project and make sure to check on Moreau, link in the description.